and welcome back to Shell Space Kit. I'm Andy and thank you for joining me on the canal build part 2. In this video I'll be doing work on the canal water effect, the landscaping and the new road bridge at the rear of the scene. This is the picture at the end of the last instalment and now that the paint is dry it's time to add the varnish for the water effect. For the water I'm using Wilco's extra tough quick dry water based gloss varnish so here we go. I've heard stories of cellulose varnish cracking or yellowing over time when used uh, in this kind of water modelling. So I've gone with a water based alternative, hoping that uh, this will last a fair few years. Um, it's also great because you can wash the brush out with warm soapy water. The varnish is touch dry in an hour and recoatable after four. So the plan is to put two coats on per day until I'm happy with the finish. So while the first coat is drying, I've mocked up these bridge supports and taken some measurements for the new road bridge. I'll be making this from 3mm uh, grey board. I've started with a template of the uh, canal towpath line and uh, the angle of it in regards to the bridge and I'll take this down to the workbench to continue. So with the basic shape glued into place I've now covered the front with some nice stone paper I found on the internet and I'm using my own 3D printed bridge girders uh, on the top. And back up in the loft, this is what the bridge looks like in situ. Day 4 and another coat of varnish. This is layer number 7 and I'm very happy with the results so far. Quick look at my uh, reference picture and we notice the uh, water lilies and the reeds at the left hand side of the canal in this picture. To replicate this I'm going to be sprinkling some knock leaves uh, light green uh, down the canal sides uh, in an attempt to uh, simulate these water lilies. Uh, by the way this is uh, varnish layer number 8. Back at the workbench and I've made a start on the road bridge tarmac section. I mixed up the shade of grey before weathering and added road markings once the paint was dry. The raised scene at the back is built up with some cardboard and polyfiller before a coating of scatter, foliage and uh, static grass finished with a couple of uh, trees. I've also built some new stone walls and the girder sections have had a coat of Humbrol Mat 187.
waxing has had a touch up of blue sky and I've painted in a bit of greenery to blend everything together. The girder bridge sections have had a black wash weathering and uh, glued into place with the stone wall sections. the greenery I'm starting with the bushes and shrubs. For this I'm using rubberized horsehair pieces which I will coat with plastic coat sealer and then some of them I'm going to cover in 2 mil static grass and some of them in varying shades of uh, ground scatter. To get the effect of reeds I found this old wallpapering brush in the garage. I cut off some of the bristles and soaked them in green acrylic paint overnight I then stuck them into a little bit of blue tack and stuck on some knock leaves and uh, a little bit of 6mm static grass. After watching Richard at Everard Junction build his new branch line section, I realised that the shop bought trees I had on the layout just didn't look right. I fired off an email to my friend Martin at Country Scenes, and within a couple of days a fresh box of sea foam arrived at my door. I set about modelling a handful of new trees for the canal, using Woodland Scenic's coarse turf blends and various scatters. Back up in the loft, it was time to put the new trees, bushes, shrubs and canal side foliage into place.
With the trees, shrubs and greenery all in place, I gave everything a coat of diluted PVA to seal it in. Down on the workbench, I gave the pub a makeover and rename and fitted an LED. 24 hours later, with everything dry and secure, I gave the canal a hoover and a clean down. There are a few extras uh, yet to add, but for the moment, here is the new canal scene. And thank you for watching. Bye.